According to the Humane Society, there are more than 4 million pet dog attacks each year in the United States. And most of them are on children. But what if pet dogs viciously attacked an unsuspecting child, and instead of the dogs being punished, the child's parents were? Sound impossible? Not in 1989, not in Texas. Here's the story. Emory, Texas, just outside Dallas, was the scene of an excruciating family tragedy for Debbie Loveless and her common-law husband, John Miller. On the morning of January 4th, 1989, John was working on a project next door while Debbie's four-year-old daughter, April Tucker, played outside. Debbie finished up her chores at the house and went down to help John with the project. I asked him where April was because she wasn't around anywhere. And he said he hadn't seen her. So I went outside to call for her. And I could hear something in the, diff in the distance. I thought she was up in the field playing. And um, I told her to come to the house. But April never came. When John and Debbie went looking for her, they found her at the base of a tree. And when I seen her, she didn't have any clothes on. She was laying on her stomach. There was a big gash torn out of her leg. And I immediately knew that she was in deep trouble. John had been trained as a paramedic and immediately began to administer first aid to April. And I said, April, what happened? And she said, dogs did it. That was the first time I had any inclination of what happened. April was rushed to the hospital, but she had lost so much blood that tragically, she died on the operating table. Her body had took all it could take, and she went to a second shock. And um, they couldn't save her. They, they tried, but it just, they couldn't do anything. What happened next stunned the grief-stricken parents. Prosecutors said April had not been killed by dogs. They claimed she had been murdered by her parents. I felt horrible when they didn't believe anything that we said. I just couldn't understand it. I just, you know, because we were telling the truth, and it's like it didn't matter what we said. When defense lawyers couldn't produce autopsy photos to prove that April had been killed by dogs, John and Debbie were convicted of murder. When they said guilty, I mean, we both just stood there, you know, just kind of rock still. The couple spent four years in prison, all the while insisting on their innocence. Well, all four years I was in prison, I wrote the governor, I wrote legislators, I wrote congressmen, I wrote anybody that I thought might listen. Finally, Debbie and John got a break. Texas attorney Robert Artis agreed to appeal their case. Then, 26 injury and autopsy photos were found in the back of a desk and entered into evidence. And then I could see paw prints. I could see where uh, the canine teeth had been embedded. And that convinced me that there had to be some animal uh, involved in this. Five nationally respected forensics experts agreed and would testify that April had been killed by dogs. They looked at these pictures and they told me the dogs had actually done it to her. And, and that gave me hope that somehow or another that we were, it was the truth was going to come out and we were going to get to go home. On December 15th, 1993, Debbie and John's convictions were overturned and they were set free. It was a situation where people do not want to believe that uh, kids can be uh, killed or injured by their their pets around the house, and they can be and are. John and Debbie broke off their relationship while in prison, and both have since remarried. Their new spouses are police officers. They would like their story to serve as a warning to others. Number one, never trust animals. 100%. I mean, trust them, baby them. I've got a dog now that's a big baby as you'll ever see. But I will never 100% trust an animal.